Dakshina Kannada is a district in the state of Karnataka in India. Sheltered by the Western Ghats on the east and surrounded by the Arabian Sea on the west, Dakshina Kannada receives abundant rainfall during the monsoon. It is bordered by Udupi district to the north, Chikmagalar district to the northeast, Hassan district to the east, Kodagu to the southeast and Kasaragod district in Kerala to the south. The district has two agro-climatic divisions. Coastal region consisting of Mangalore, Mudabidri and Bantwal Taliks Malnad region consisting of Belthangadi, Puttur, Kadaba and Sulia Taliks. The district has two revenue subdivisions. Mangalore consists of Mangalore, Bantwal, Mudabidri, Mulki and Vitla and Puttur consists of Puttur, Belthangadi, Sulia and Kadaba. Mangalore city is the district headquarters of Dakshina Kannada. According to the 2011 census of India, Dakshina Kannada district had a population of 2,083,625. The district comprises seven talukas, Mangalore, Bantwal, Puttur, Sulia, Belthangadi, Kadaba and Mudabidri. It used to include seven northern talukas Udupi, Kundapur, Karkala, Hebri, Brahmavar, Kop and Bindor, but these were separated in August 1997 to form Udupi district. Dakshina Kannada, Udupi and Kasaragod are often called Tulu Nadu. Important city and towns in Dakshina Kannada include Mangalore, Puttur, Bantwal, Vital, Sulia, Surathkal, Mudabidri, Kinagoli, Upanangadi, Nelyadi, Kadaba, Belthangadi, Venor, Mulki, Dharmasthala, Ujir and Subramanya. The district is known for beaches, red clay roof tiles, Mangalore tiles, cashew nut and its products, banking, education, healthcare and cuisine. History The Alupas ruled the erstwhile Dakshina Kannada region between the 8th and 14th century CE. Before 1860, Dakshina Kannada was part of a district called Kanara, which was under a single administration in the Madras Presidency. In 1860, the British split the area into South Kanara and North Kanara, the former being retained in the Madras Presidency, while the latter was made a part of Bombay Presidency in 1862. Kundapur Taluk was earlier included in North Kanara but was later re included in South Kanara. During the reorganisation of states in 1956, Kasaragod was split and transferred to the newly created Kerala state, and Dakshina Kannada was transferred to Mysore state. Present day Karnataka. South Kanara was a district under the British Empire which included the present Dakshina Kannada, Udupi, Kasaragod districts, and Aminidavi Islands. Kanara district was bifurcated in 1859 to form North Kanara and South Kanara. Dakshina Kannada became a district of Mysore state in 1956 which later was renamed Karnataka in 1973. Kasaragod became a district of Kerala during the re-organization of states and Aminidavi islands later became a part of Lakshadweep. The Udupi district was formed from the northern Taliks of Dakshina Kannada in 1997. Later, the Karnataka government, for the purpose of administration, split the Greater Dakshina Kannada district into Udupi and present-day Dakshina Kannada districts on 15 August 1997. Three Taliks of the former district—Udupi, Karkala and Kundapura—formed the new Udupi district. <laughs> Demographics According to the 2011 census Dakshina Kannada has a population of 2,089,649, roughly equal to the nation of Macedonia or the U.S. state of New Mexico. This gives it a ranking of 220th in India out of a total of 640. The district has a population density of 457 inhabitants per square kilometer 1,180 per square miles. Its population growth rate over the decade 2001-2011 was 9.8%. Dakshina Kannada has a sex ratio of 1018 females for every 1,000 males and a literacy rate of 88.62%. The literacy rate of Mangalore City is 94%. According to the 2011 Indian census, the district ranks second in per capita income, second in HDI, first in literacy and third in sex ratio among all districts in Karnataka. Tuluvas, distributed among the Bilava, Mogavira, Bunt, Kulala, Tulu Gauda and Davadiga communities, are the largest ethnic group in the district. 
The Konkani people, Brahmins, Holias, the Hill tribes Koragas, Muslims, Mangalorean Catholics and Arabhashe Gaudas comprise rest of the population. The Brahmins belong chiefly to the Shivali, Saraswat, Havyaka, Chitpavan, Daivadnya and Kota subsections. The major languages spoken in Dakshina Kannada are Tulu, Konkani, Kannada, Arbashi, Dakani Urdu, Bari Bashi, Havyaka and Malayalam. Geography The district geography consists of seashore in the west and western ghats in the east. The soil is mostly lateritic type, characterized by high iron and aluminium content. The major rivers are Netravathi, Kumaradhara, Gurupura, Falguni, Shambhavi, Nandini or Pavanje, and Payaswini, all join the Arabian Sea. At Upaningadi, the Netravathi and Kumaradhara rivers rise during the monsoon and meet. This event is called Sangam, which in Sanskrit means confluence. Near Mangalore, an estuary is formed by the union of the rivers Netravathi and the Gurupura, which merge into the Arabian Sea. The topography of the district is plain up to 30 kilometres inside the coast and changes to undulating hilly terrain sharply towards the east in the western ghats. Teak, bamboo, and rosewood trees are found in the hilly areas towards the east. The Geological Survey of India has identified this district as a moderately earthquake-prone region and categorized it in the Seismic 3 zone. In rural Dakshina Kannada, houses are in the midst of a farm field or plantations of coconut or arecanut, separated by a few hundred metres, Sherlala village in the Kudremic range of Belthangadi Talak, with a maximum elevation of 1,115 metres 3 feet, is the highest point in Dakshina Kannada. Topic education and research In Dakshina Kannada, primary and secondary education have reached every section of the society. A host of educational institutes offering courses in medicine, engineering, pharmacy, nursing, hotel and catering, law and management are in this district. Dakshina Kannada is home to the National Institute of Technology Karnataka Surathkal, one of India's top engineering colleges. The College of Fisheries is located at Yekar near Kankanadi. Mangalore University is a public university in Konaje near Mangalore. It has jurisdiction over the districts of Dakshina Kannada, Udupi, and Kodagu. The district is home to research institutes such as the Directorate of Cashew Research at Puttur. The Central Plantation Crops Research Institute is in Vitla in the Bantwal Taluk. The engineering colleges in the district include St. Joseph Engineering College, KVG College of Engineering, Mangalore Institute of Technology and Engineering, Kanara Engineering College, PA College of Engineering, Srinivas Institute of Technology, Srinivas School of Engineering, Vivekananda College of Engineering and Technology, Sri Devi Institute of Technology, Alvas Institute of Engineering and Technology, Karavali Institute. Institute of Technology, Sayadri College of Engineering and Management, Yenapoya Institute of Technology, AJ Institute of Engineering and Technology, SDM Institute of Technology, Barry's Institute of Technology and Prasanna College of Engineering and Technology. The medical colleges in the district include AJ Institute of Medical Science, Father Muller Medical College, Case Hegd Medical Academy, Kasturba Medical College, Srinivas Institute of Medical Sciences and Research Center, Yenapoya Medical College and Research Institute and KVG Medical College. Manipal College of Dental Sciences Mangalore, A. B. Shetty Memorial Institute of Dental Sciences, A. J. Institute of Dental Sciences, Yenapoya Dental College and Research Institute and Srinivas Institute of Dental Sciences are some of the dental colleges. <laughs> Cultures, traditions and rituals Most people of the district follow the traditions, customs and rituals. The district has many temples of Hindu gods and goddesses, which are ancient and have deep spiritualism attached to them. The people of Dakshina Kannada worship the serpent god Subramanya. According to legend, the district was reclaimed by Parashurama from the sea. Nagaradhan or snake worship is practiced according to the popular belief of the Naga Devatha to go underground and guard the species on the top. Rituals such as Buddha Kola are performed to satisfy the spirits. Kambala, a form of buffalo race on muddy track in the paddy field, is organized in the 16 sites across the district. 
Cockfight is another pastime of the rural agrarian people. Yakshagana is the popular folk art of this district. The Yakshagana is a night long dance and drama performance practiced in Tulu Nadu with great fanfare. Pilivsha literally, tiger dance, is a unique form of folk dance in the region fascinating the young and the old alike, which is performed during Dussehra and Krishna Janmashtami. Karadi Vesha literally, bear dance, is another popular dance performed during Dussehra. The people of Dakshina Kannada also celebrate traditional Hindu festivals like Bisu, Ugadi, Ugadi Krishna Janmashtami, Ganesha Chaturthi, Navaratri, Dussehra, Deepavali, Ati Hunaim etc. Transport In Dakshina Kannada bus services are run by private players and the state-run KSRTC. The district had public limited public listed companies running transport business even before the independence of India in 1947. The district has five national highways connecting parts of Karnataka and India. NH66 connects the district with Udupi, Karwar, Mumbai, Goa, Kochi and Tiruvananthapuram. NH169 connects Shivamaga with Dakshina Kannada. NH75 connects the district with Velour, Bengaluru, Kunigal, Hassan and Sakleshpura. The NH73 connects Mangalore to Tumkur via Charmadi, Mudajir and Bailur. Major Ghat sections in Dakshina Kannada include Sharadi Ghat, Nelyadi to Sakleshpura, Charmadi Ghat, Charmadi to Kadigahara, Sampahe Ghat, Sampahe to Madikeri, and Bail Ghat, Subramanya to Sakleshpura, popularly known as Green Route by trekkers. NH 275 also connects Mangalore with Bangalore via Mysore. It starts at Bantwal near Mangalore city and passes through Puttur, Madikeri, Mysore, and Mandya. It ends at Bangalore spanning a length of 378 kilometers, 235 miles. In 1907, the Southern Railway connected Mangalore with Calicut, Kori Code, along the coastline. This railway line helped connect the district with other places of the Madras Presidency during the colonial rule. The Konkan Railway 1998 connects Dakshina Kannada with Maharashtra, Goa, Gujarat, Delhi, Rajasthan and Kerala by train. There are direct trains from Mangalore to Mumbai, Thane, Chennai, Goa and Trivandrum. Train services operate daily to Bangalore via Hassan and Kuk Subramanya after the conversion from meter gauge to broad gauge track. The Dakshina Kannada district has a seaport at Panambur named New Mangalore Port. The seaport managed by New Mangalore Port Trust handles cargo, timber, petroleum and coffee exports. It is one of the major seaports of India. The district is connected by air through the Mangaluru International Airport at Bajpay. Airlines such as Jet Airways, Air India, and SpiceJet offer daily flights to national and international destinations near the Persian Gulf. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Historic sites. The following are historic places to visit in Dakshina Kannada. Mangaladevi Temple, Mangalore was named after the Hindu deity Mangaladevi. Venor, monolithic Bahabali statue. Kadri, Temple of Lord Sri Manjanatha. Sri Amruthashwara Temple, Vimanjore, Temple of Lord Shiva. Mudabidri, site of the ancient Jain temples and the Bhadaraka seat. Krishnapura Matha, one of the Matha monastery belonging to Ashtamatha of Udupi. Dharmasthala, the temple of Lord Sri Manjanathashwara is here. Katil, temple of goddess Sri Durga Parameshwari. Kadashivalaya, Kadashivalaya temple at Bantwal. Kudroli, Gokarnanathishwar's temple. Munkar, Sri Durga Parameshwari temple. Karanjashwara temple, temple of Lord Shiva Parvati on a huge rock. Ulal, known for the Ulal beach and Someshwara beach. Kuk Subramanya, Temple of the Serpent Lord Subramanya is here. Mulki, Durga Parameshwari Temple. St. Aloysius Chapel, Mangalore. Milagres Church, Mangalore. Sayyid Madani Mosque and Darga, Ulal. Sultan Battery, Mangalore. Puttur, Temple of Lord Sri Mahalingeshwara is here. Upaningadi, Sahasralingeshwara Temple. Kepu, Ananthadi, Balnadu, known for Goddess Ulalthi Temple and its unique heritage. Puttur Karavadtha Valyalahi Darga Sharif 
Samanathaswar Temple, Someshwara, Ulal. Summer Sand Beach Resort at Ulal. Pilakula Nisargadama, Pilakula, Mudashedi, Mangalore. Kudupu Temple, Kudupu, Mangalore. Kumbladi Balasubramanya. Charvaka Kapaleshwara Devasthana. Sri Shetra Daipila. Masjidu Thakwa Pumpwell Mangaluru. Beli Pali Big Masjid Bundar Mangaluru. Manjusha Kar Museum, Dharmastala. Topic: Climate. Dakshina Kannada features a tropical monsoon climate according to the Köppen climate classification. The average annual rainfall in Dakshina Kannada is 4030 mm in. The rainfall varies from 3796.9 mm in at the Mangalore coast, 4530 mm in at Mudabidri and 4329 mm in at Puttur near the Western Ghats. The average humidity is 75% and peaks in July at 89%. Agriculture Agriculture, which was once a major occupation of the people of Dakshina Kannada, has taken a backseat because of the influx of money from natives settled in other cities, states and countries. Significant number of people from this district work in the Gulf Middle East countries and other states of India. Farms and fields have been converted into residential plots and commercial shopping complexes around Mangalore city. Horticulture, though, has made some strides, and measures have been taken to improve the fruit plantation sector. The main crops of Dakshina Kannada are paddy, coconut, arecanut, black pepper, cashew and cocoa. Rice is generally cultivated three seasons in a year, Karthika or Yenil May to October, Suji October to January, and Kolek January to April. Urad black gram is grown in some areas during the season of Suji. The Karnataka Milk Federation has a milk processing plant at Kulshakar in Mangalore. This plant processes milk procured from the cattle owned by farmers of the district. Cuisine <coughs> 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 Some of the well-known Tuluva community dishes in this district include kori roti, dry rice flakes dipped in chicken gravy, bangyud pulamunchi, spicy sour silver gray mackerels, bija manoli upkari, near dosa, butai gassi and kadubu. In coastal Karnataka, the Mangalorean fish curry is a popular dish. The Konkani community's specialties include dali thoi, bib upkari, cashew based, val val, avnis ambi sasam, kaji chako, pagila padi, malpuri, patrode, and shane gashi. Mangalore bhaji, also known as galabahe, is a popular snack made from maida, curd, rice flour, chopped onion, coriander leaves, coconut, jeera, green chilies, and salt. Tulu vegetarian cuisine in Mangalore, also known as Udupi cuisine, is known and liked throughout the state and the coastal region. Being a coastal district, fish forms the staple diet of most people. Mangalorean Catholic Sana Dukra Mas. Sana means idli fluffed with toddy or yeast and Dukra Mas means pork, pork bifat, sorpatel and the mutton biryani of the Muslims are well-known dishes. Pickles such as hapala, sandage and puli munshi are unique to Mangalore. Topic commerce and industry The district along with Udupi district is known as the cradle of Indian banking. Major nationalized banks of India such as Kanara Bank, Corporation Bank, Syndicate Bank, Vijaya Bank and private sector Karnataka Bank evolved from these two districts. Red clay tiles, Mangalore tiles, cashew processing factories and beady industry once flourished in this district. The service sector is booming with the setting up of professional education institutes and information technology related services IT and ITES. Dakshina Kannada district has a per capita income of 2 rupees 18580 which is second only to Bengaluru urban district. Despite ranking 8th in the list of most populous districts in Karnataka, the district is the second largest contributor to the state's GSDP with a contribution of 5.8%. 
In other words, despite a low population share of 3.4%, the district's share in state GSDP stands at 5.8%. As the district is on the shore of the Arabian Sea, fishing is one of the major occupation of many people. The major fishing places are Bundar, Old Harbor, Panambur, Surathkal, Kotekar and Sasahitlu. The major industries in Dakshina Kannada concentrated around Mangalore are Mangalore Chemical and Fertilizers Limited MCF, Kudremic Iron Ore Company Limited KIOCL, the Kanara Workshops Limited Manufacturers of Kanara Springs, Mangalore Refinery and Petrochemicals Limited MRPL, HPCL, BPCL, BASF, Total Gas, Bharati Shipyard Limited BSL, etc. There is a chocolate manufacturing plant at Puttor run by CAMPCO. Major information technology and outsourcing companies have their facilities in Mangalore namely Infosys, Cognizant, Atlantic Data Bureau Services Private. Limited, Lasersoft Infosystems Limited, Emphasis BPO and Endurance International Group. Two IT parks have been constructed, one Export Promotion Industrial Park EPIP at Ganjamut and a second IT says near Mangalore University. The Oil and Natural Gas Corporation ONGC plans to set up a multiproduct says special economic zone with an investment of over 35000 crore rupees. Another IT says of 2 million square feet 180000 square meters is under construction at Thumb by the BA group. This will include a business center, convention center, mall and helipad facility. Topic See also Mangalore Economy of Mangalore Swami Vivekananda Planetarium U.S. Malya Indoor Stadium Puttor Sulia Bantwal Belthangadi Kakinje Mudabidri Dharmasthala Mangalorean cuisine